idea. There you are. Hello. Please talk to him. Thank you. Okay, mendicant. What do you want? Ah, right. You want the shoots. Which then used to make a basket. What's the shoot, please? And three. Pretty sure the next step is crafting, which we're not going to be doing until we make those and hand them in. More pair of supplies. Crafty, craft, 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 craft. Okay, that's them made. Now I can go turn this in. I'll get my crystals. And I can make the rest of this stuff. Synthesize the basket components. foundation components.
got this tier done. Can hand this in. Yep, everything went fine. Here's your foundation components. Twin crystals, not that I really need more of them at the moment. Back here. Got 55, which would let me make 55 different crafts. So I am okay for a while on wind crystals. It's lightnings that continue to be a problem. We'll see what the next tier of quests wants from me and whether I can get away with 11 or if I have to do a little bit more farming. Here's your baskets stuff. You know, I can go back. This one's gonna give us water crystals, which I have an abundance of. Yeah, everything about lightning and wind is in triple digits at this point. Water is the least into triple digits though, I guess, but... Okay, let's hand this... and this in. Then we got our other day. A stone throws away, which despite being a low tier one, we haven't gotten before. Revivifying roar. So I've gotten before Journey of a Thousand Hues. So these are all quests I have not gotten before. That gives fire crystals. Right on time, Archon. I have keen need of your keen eye. You see, the more enterprises the Mugmenders take on, the more crystals we must stockpile for crafting. We accepted we accepted help from our eager Mog Moogle of Moghome who will gather crystals so we can maintain our pace. While we are grateful for an extra set of paws, this young one has no experience, Koopa. Likely, you cannot even tell a crystal from a glass shard. I would like you to assist him in finding a sample crystal. He is expecting you at the summit of some all. Vivifying Roar. This Earth Crystal. We're in the verge of a breaking discovery, Koopa. Remember our mission to restore the rookery to its proper capacity, yes? Well, one of our Moogles was investing the stone dragons around the perimeters and found that they were no mere ornaments. Unlike other statues, these ones faintly glow. We think they served a more useful purpose. We want to see if they react in the presence of dragon magics. And for that, we need a way off. Could you summon him to roar upon the statues? And Journey of a Thousand Hues. Wind crystals. So, not getting any lightning crystals today. <sighs> Why do I even bother sometimes? A group of Moogles said they were going to take a break from the restoration effort and explore the area around the Shiva statue south of here. They appear to be taking too long for my taste. Why don't you check on them and see what they're up to? So we've got Dexter Dragon Net here. Welcome, son of man. Yes, we know of those statues. Father told me about them once. He said there are many mysterious stone sculptures that seem to respond to dragon magics under certain conditions. Although we are unsure why or how. Perhaps Way Off knows better how to awaken them. Wait here, and I shall call them for you. So that's Revivifying Roar. Only a third? I swear, half the time I look, if they're awake, they're grooming. Okay, where are you? There's one. Oh, I have to target it? Fine. The 
magics in the stone statue respond to his roar. These statues are indeed from a bygone age. But something is strange. Why does this statue carved by man respond to a dragon's roar in the present? Come, let us continue until all have been roused. Okay, so there's more of them. Got it. Two. Is awakened. I'm reminded of the elders' stories of how our kind used to bear man across the heavens as I bear you now. Another. possible that these statues respond to the presence of our solidarity. One more, maybe? Oh, it does say last, so yeah, probably the last one. Either that or it's lying to me, which, you know, 50-50. Magics in the stone statue stirs if awakened by way off roar. You hear a sound of heavy stone scraping the distance. What was that strange sound just now? Perhaps the true functions of these statues have been lost to time. The men and dragons of the peaceful age had been known to make instruments that were mutually useful to both. I leave it to you Moogles to investigate whether it can be useful to you as well. For now, my throat is spent. Let us return. Are you? It says you. Are you like. Seriously, where are you? Are you underneath the labeled? You are underneath the Dervanian Forelands tag on the map. Okay. Mogok told me to wait here for a crystal expert, so I suppose that would be you. Pleased to make pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kupo. I'm afraid to say I don't know very much about what kind of crystals the Mogmeters want. Those old Kupo trees, like the ones at the Landlord Colony, are a viable source. I don't even know which ones are ripe for harvest. Mogok okay, and I agreed that this would go much swifter if the match master such as yourself informed me of the precise location of the trees that have crystals ripe for harvest. Then I'll handle the rest, Kupo. So you sent me from here, all the way to here, and now you want me to go all the way up. Whoever designed this is a butthead. damn circle are you? So this is a very large circle. What am I even looking for? Harvest a crystal sample from Koopa trees. There's a Koopa tree. Crystal for synthesis. Now I would have to go all the way back to you again. I repeat, 
Whoever designed this is a butthead. Why would the guy who's looking for Koopa trees be all the way down here? And the Koopa trees are all the way up here. I got you your damn crystal. You have any luck, Koopa? Yep. So this is what one looks like. Wherever did you find it? Well, then I am off to gather my first crystals. You have my thanks, Koopa. I don't know, where'd I find it? Like, exactly where you told me it was probably gonna be, and now you're just gonna... The narrative on this just makes no sense whatsoever. He is here. He says, I don't know what crystals look like. Could you show me what crystals look like? I think they're in the Koopa trees. So you get sent all the way up here to the Koopa trees. And you pick a crystal. And then you bring it all the way back. And then he goes, oh, that's what they look like. Let me go to the Koopa trees, where I told you they are, all the way back up here. How does that make any narrative sense? Why would he not be up here if he was told that they were up here? Mother of the sheep. So beautiful. Oh, pardon me, Koopa. I was so entranced by such majesty that I didn't see you standing there. Every time I lay eyes on her, I cannot help but feel inspired. How many years would it take to carve a statue of this size, I wonder? Ten? Twenty? One hundred? Regardless, it is a display of dedication worthy of the highest respect. Someday, I wish to be respected as a Moogle sculptor, and that's why my mind is made up, Koopa. I too shall hone my skills and create a statue as grandeur as this one, with a little help, of course. You have an eye for detail, right? Do you think you could use your exper expertise to fashion me a small statue in the likeness of a valiant Moogle? I want to use it as a model of practice for my much bigger Mog moment, Koopa. While I would love to see your work, I do not have any materials on hand, unfortunately. But my brother is a peddler who deals in odds and ends at the summit of Samal. You mentioned I sent you for my work. You should be willing to give you materials, free of cost. Oh no, back to Seoul. Some all summit again, I go. Like, it's not so much the the distance you have to travel for some of these quests that's annoying. So you start here, and then it sends you here, and then it sends you here, and then it sends you back to here, and then it sends you back to here. And then it sends you over to here, and then it sends you back to here. It's, I'm gonna guess it sends you all the way to back. To, like, if you had to go back out and back, that'd be one thing, but you have to go, like, out and back and to the other side of the realm and back and back. It's a very weird design choice that seems to do little more than aggravate the player. And waste time. As mentioned earlier, waste time. He wants to carve... What? Did his palm or something? But there's talented to be sure, but he's no master. Even a sculpture my size would take him more than a fortnight, Koopa. I'm rather doubtful you could create such an enormous piece. But since you came all this way, I suppose I'll have to indulge him. Here. One. High quality. Moogle statuette. Boom. Boom. 
Um. Um. I should be fine, they just... Okay, Moogle statuette made, now we go all the way back, once again. Like, at least there's narrative sense in this one. Dude's here, entranced by the statue. His bro's back here with the materials. And then he wants to show. At least there's narrative sense here. This one I'm less annoyed about than this one, which just narratively makes no goddamn sense. You're gonna make me do something that's tedious and annoying and takes up more time than it really should. At least give me a story why I'm doing it. You finished making the model. Wow, oh, so lifelike, Koopo. The tea tails on the fur, the veins on the wings. If I didn't know better, I'd say you'd had quite the career as a sculptor yourself. Thank you so much for making me such an elaborate piece. You can tell Mulgut that I found my true calling in life. With this in hand, I'll be a master sculptor in no time, Koopo. Okay, so we just had to make the one thing. So at least we didn't have to refarm for the second round. I suppose you were able to teach him what a well-chosen crystal looks like. Good, good. Strange, isn't it? But it was the dragons who first taught man how to gather crystals from the Koopa trees. And now, in turn, the Moogles are learning from man, Koopa. At least it seems that that quest has been, like, drastically lowered in its occurrence rate, because that is a... Uh, that is an unlock tier quest, so like neutral rep, and that's the first time I've seen it. And we are respected, which is tier four, or five, if you count neutral as one. The statues did react then. Excellent, Koopo. We'll send out an exploration party at once to see if any of the structures around the rookery have changed. The men and dragons before the time of the Great War must have had a truly unique bond to create such devices. If they were watching them from the heavens, I'm certain they would be happy you and Way Off were bearing the torch, so to speak, Koopo. And... Uh, last one. I see. So he decided he would rather dedicate his time to sculpting. Well, I for one have no qualms with it. Not every Moogle is suited to be a mog mender, you know? Besides... If success on his mission, then perhaps magnificent Moogle statues will be scattered around the churning Miss Koopo. I'm glad you're able to support him in his dream, no matter how big or small. Okay, and that is the Moogles done. Which makes... leaves just the rank up for the Vanu Vanu to do. We are 